on my glasses. Yo, welcome to a special episode of what? What are we doing? I don't understand what we're gonna call uh, this. Ma making some first characters. <laughs> okay, that's good. I'm kind of copying off of I'm kind of copying off of Suit House right now, but who gives a crap? We're just gonna do this, okay? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna look at cursed images. Cursed images are images on the internet that look weird and creepy. Like obviously they aren't cursed, but they seemed like they would be. We're gonna be looking at the image as if the cursed image is some kind of that is inside of the image is some kind of RPG character, boss, enemy, whatever, and we're gonna be determining its stats. A creation of pure putus? Yes. Don't remind me of that video. I'll freaking kill you. Uh, we also added in a bunch of spore creatures, cause why not? First image, we've got, uh, someone pouring Dawn, Dawn soap on a waffle that's split in half. I call this one primordial ooze. <laughs> okay, so I say if we're gonna call it primordial ooze, it has to have like primitive arcane attacks. Then. So let's say that whatever it pours it onto, it'll turn that object to life. But that thing, that's the object that it turns to life. It has one goal, and its goal is to, is to clean all of its enemies from the face of the earth. This guy is. Producing terrorism right here by pouring primary little ooze on some waffles. Don't do that. I also found an image where it was actually blue soap doing terrorism in style. Here's our next one. Uh, <laughs> what it looks like to be Homer Simpson. But fat old grand lady yeah, with a broom. I don't even know. Just any broom. It's it's like a push broom. Now I see it. There's the bristles and stuff. Notice how she's holding, holding it with a uh, he, she, it. <laughs> Notice how it is holding the broom. You know, what? I wonder if that this is the bristles. I that, th that means she it uses the handle. Well, I wonder where that goes. <laughs> <laughs> that broom is what gave this person the powers of Homer Simp. Simp grandma, and now, now it holds it forever, staring and staring in captivity, and your eyes saying, "Save me! This broom was in my bum hole." I I think that this is actually like a squad mate that just does nothing and like really sucks. Like he just stays there, or like he really sucks, and then at like the final boss, he finally does something. It's one of those uh, bosses where like you find it initially, and you're like. Oh, this is easy. Like it has a couple of powerful attacks that you have to use some of your your stuff on to yeah. not die, and then you finally kill it. And you're like, oh well, that was like a stupid easy fight. And then it's like second win, and it's like five bajillion times more powerful, but its attacks are crappy. Yeah, it's like that stupid boss from uh, Scalar. Have you? It was I just like, know there's a lot of games that have bosses. It was, like it was that. the. It was that. Uh, flying crab thing. I don't know if anybody has seen that, but I'll send a picture up in Grand Simp. Uh, next one. I call this... The Grand Blue Raw. <laughs> the Grand Blue Raw. Blue Bar. The Grand Blue Bar. He's like, would you like some blue? He dispenses blue. That's all he does. It's a, it's a particular quest item. You, the way you have to get it is, uh, if, did you ever play Super Mario Sunshine? Uh, I, no, I know what it is, though. Okay, do you know about the fight when you're fighting the pi piranha plant? Well, uh, kinda. I know what that you is. You have to spray it in the- spray its mouth with water. Yeah, but no, no, no. You have to- you have, have to spray- you have to spray his butt with water, cause look, he's- he's just- he's just ready for it. But, but the thing- the thing that makes it difficult is he's running around, and you have to put it in, and then you have to run to a hand pump, and you have to crank it. <laughs> and then, then when he gets when he gets maximum swole, <laughs> he just barfs all over the place, and you have to pick it up. You have to pick up the blue. But if you don't pick it up fast enough, he eats it. 
Yes. Not only that, but the whole boss fight, he's yelling at you and he's saying, <laughs> I'm the booba, you cannot catch me. <laughs> he says he says it like every time in like different pitches and speeds. And like he doesn't even he doesn't even stop a second from saying that. He just keeps going. Oh, and that, then when he finally kills him, he's like <laughs> he, the, he does this he does the scream from Sirius Sam. Oh yeah. <laughs> you have to grab the the blue to uh, save his brother, who is a uh, red ba. Yeah. He's uh, he's like my brother has been cursed. But do you want to make it even better? What? He can make copies of himself <laughs> in his belly. That's why he's holding it. I must contain my child. I hate bosses like this. No, this is the final boss. This is the final boss. <laughs> yes. Yes. And Red Ba is just oh. some guy that you had to, like, get the quest on. He's like, I've gotten blue, now I can be purple. And then that's just like, it wins. That's it. Something like that, I don't know. <laughs> Possum Wizard. And his goons. Pizzard. Gizzard? Oh, Pizzard? Pizzard and his goons. <laughs> Pizzard goons. Uh, one of them says, Happy Halloween on his sister. Was the other one? Too cool, too cute, something. Yeah. <laughs> I like how he's positioned. He's like, Welcome to my lair. Okay, the Happy Halloween one like scares you and attacks you and gives your character um some kind of effect that makes you makes it harder to progress towards the actual wizard. Whatever. Yeah, the purple one. It, what it does is it when it files, it makes it you go towards it instead of going towards the possum. And then you have to kill those two before you can get to the possum. Or, well, it's just best to, otherwise it's just crazy stupid. Because the one, will, the one will scare you away from him while the other one attracts you to it. The wizard is like the old man from Zelda. And his, and his goons are, his, are the items. You have to pick the right one. But they both suck okay. anyway. Like, the Happy Halloween one, like, reduces your speed, but, like, also gives you, like, 0.1 attack, but that's it. <laughs> and then the purple one, the purple one, all it does is, like, freaking compliment you and, like, Oh, great job! That's all it does. <laughs> and he's like, choose wisely! It, it should also give you, like, tunnel vision. Tunnel vision? <laughs> But the tunnel vision is like off centered towards him. Oh no so no it's no! Like between him and where the boss is. The the purple one gives you an image of the wizard to your top right corner of the screen for the whole game, and that's it. That's all you get. <laughs> He's like, keep him in your mind always. He will give you the magics and powers to defeat the the boss. And it actually does nothing. The whole game, you just you gain things and you think it's because of him, and at the end he escapes, but you still have all your powers, and he turns out to be the final boss instead. <laughs> oh gosh. Frog Squad. 